What's up, cats? I'm Electric Jazz, K A K A E J. Today we're picking up episode eight. I do believe of our Pokemon Stone Dragon Nuzlocke series here on the Electric Jazz Cat channel. Ooh, <clears throat> my my throat's a little dry. I've been playing my trombone a lot today. Today is a Saturday, but it was also a dress rehearsal for a concert that we're going to be having tomorrow. It's really cool. It's a jazz arrangement of the Nutcracker. I didn't like it at first. But after the music's been coming along, it's pretty good. And um, we've got dancers that choreograph to go with it and stuff, so it's pretty cool. In the last episode, we were joined with Mr. Soda Fizz Gaming. Um, hopefully EJ remembered to put a link to his playlist in the description, since he did the same for me. And we got a trainer who doesn't walk. Ooh, don't be scared, just battle. Dude, I'm really disappointed with this ROM hacker and not giving these trainers anything to say. Like, I understand maybe if there's a bunch that say just let's battle, but like, come on. Say something like, I like riding over bunks, bumps on the bike, and I like to wear shorts. Something. So then I can say, what do you guys prefer more? Shorts or pants? I personally like pants. And then it can have a discussion go on. But no. They want to put random double battles that don't tell you when it's happening, and they just say let's battle. And it's like, maybe if you were doing this... Without commentary, sure, but hold on one second. All right, I just had to hack that up, get that up, but I'm muted, so don't worry. And I'm sure EJ cut it, so you didn't have to see that either. Let's so watch this. Somebody, yes, hello EJ, let's bounce. They're all the same, man. What the heck? Anyway, how are you all been? Um, I am so happy because I've had an assignment where I thought, like. A bigger part of it, alright, that's not cool. A bigger part of it was gonna be due this Monday, but it turns out only like a small portion of it is gonna be this Monday, which makes me feel so much better because I was like, dude, I don't wanna spend, like, it just makes no sense. How am I gonna get all this homework done in this small amount of time? Well, you're not. That's why they want you to do a draft, but it wasn't really specified, so, and I was, I, clearly I was not the only one confused about it because there were a lot of people saying, we just don't understand the assignment at all. And they're like, do I speak for everyone when I say this? And then me along with a bunch of the students were like, yes, we don't understand this. And of course it was that day was when the student teacher was there and not the actual teacher. What the? Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Will we get an encounter? Yes, I'll take Gasly. Um, great ball. But, no, you're not taking me with you anywhere because I'm not killing you. You're my encounter. You're getting caught. Okay, and I'm going to name you. Did I have a name for female? Ah, what the heck. I'll just name it Nappy anyway. And we'll do all caps because that's what he did. Nanny? <laughs> Nappy. There we go. That was my inspiration for YouTube when I first started. Hey, I can see again. Cool. So we just have to get into a battle if that happens. Got it. Don't think it'll be easy to beat me. Oh, wow. The next step up line to say besides let's battle. Cool. Congratulations. So this thing's actually fairy type, but I don't think it's going to have any fairy type moves. Oh, okay. Can I get a shed skin? Thank you. And you paralyzed me again. If I'm talking a little bit softer than usual, it's because I am. Uh, my brother went to work because he's been picking up some early shifts where he like starts at like 5 in the morning. Glut. Oh, that's a little rock ghost thing. That's one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon because there's not that many, and this one's actually cool. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go to Star. Does he get Rock Throw? It's Mega Punch. <laughs> but, um... I think I've mentioned this before with like people wanting to like get in to um, record or like use this place and my brother and I are the ones who have keys to it and a long time ago at the beginning of the school year my brother sent out an email saying hey if you want to use this space you can't just sign up for the room to use it you have to email us two weeks in advance and if not two weeks I said this part at least a few days beforehand otherwise we can't let you in because we're students we've got time that we're using for our own stuff or work or whatever, let us know because we would like to let you in. But if you say the day of, can't help you. And for the most part, they understood and it was going fine. 
But then there was an instance where this guy sent an email and he said, hey, I have this room reserved and I was supposed to be in let in 10 minutes ago. Come let me in. If you were supposed to be let in 10 minutes ago, how was I supposed to know that we're not there? And so I'm like, sorry, we're not on campus. And I think he did this on a weekend too. So now it comes to like Friday night. It was like 10 o'clock or something. I was watching One Piece, which uh, if you want to know where I am, it's cool because I'm at this ghost tower right now. Um, I just met the character Brooke in One Piece. It's very funny. I like him. I didn't think I would like him um, from when I've seen spoilers of just like knowing what he looks like, but he's a funny guy. Um, Yo! What was I going to say? Don't curse me. That's not nice. Now I gotta heal. So it's like Friday night, and he says, you know, if possible, can you let me in the room tomorrow? I have... I'm meeting with some people. And I'm like, well, my brother is scheduled to work 5 to 3. Yeah, 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. I have a dress rehearsal from 12 to 4, which happened today. And then I'm also meeting earlier to set up. And so I said, you know, being that he wants to be let in at 12, can't do that. Can't help you because I'm like, I have to be there a little bit sooner to, to set up and not regardless I'm going to set up, but also like to get my trombone out and be there for the ensemble because class comes before my school work. And so then he was like, and so I said, you know, my brother's working and he was like, oh, so he'll be there to help. And I'm like, no, we're not professors. We are students. Like. And I said, work? He's off campus. He's working at a grocery store because he cares about making money. And then he was like, oh, well, you know, I've, I've contacted some other musicians of the string quartet, and it was very difficult to get this time. So, you know, can I borrow your key from you to let myself in? No. Number one, if that's the case, that you needed to like coordinate with these guys to rehearse and you didn't just make this up the other day when you contacted them you should have contacted me and my brother at that time or the same time before you reserved that room because just because you reserved that room at that time doesn't mean you can get in unless you have the key number one number two no you cannot have my key they specifically gave the keys did that hunter really just live on one hp <laughs> they specifically gave us the keys because they are assigned to us. And if something happens to the keys, we have to spend money to pay the school. And I'm talking a lot of, mon a lot of money. So, and even if, you know, if this kid is good with, you know, responsibility and stuff, I can't take that chance, nor do I want to. Like, that's just, sorry, you have to work around together. You can't just contact me last minute and expect me to be there. Star, can you freaking land your stuff? I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna lose someone today because I'm just trying to talk and I'm not focused. Not locked in. Oh, good, you're evolving. Well. You don't need takedown. Metamech never liked recoil damage, so why should I? 34? I thought you evolved at 36. I'm losing it. Um. So he's he, he went from first saying, if possible, could you let me in? To then saying, can I borrow your key? And I said, no. And then he said, oh, well, I need to be let in. Because this would be difficult, of otherwise not. So now I'm like, oh, now we're playing the make you feel guilty card because you can't let me in when it's not my fault. You're contacting me now at this point, like midnight, the night before, but now it's like the day of because midnight means 12 a.m. of that day. And I have a dress rehearsal that I'm going to set up for and do my own thing. It's not just chilling on my Saturday that I don't want to go. No. And like in general, if you ask me, they they shouldn't be able to use that space on the weekends. Just saying. You know. But I said this is why my brother sent that email out a long time ago. Because you need to, you got to let us know. At least, at least a few days. Because if you told me a few days in advance, then I could be like, okay... Let me let my fellow GAs know, hey, I gotta, you know, I can set up for the first hour, but then for the second hour, I gotta go over and let this guy in. So now, I was like, all right, I don't wanna seem like a complete douchebag. So we try to set up as fast as we can. And then instead of me getting food, getting my lunch break, I was like, all right, now I gotta let this kid in. 
And so then Charlie was like, you know, oh, well, should I buy you something for you? And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, do that and I'll pay you back. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate it. Who's this? Okay. So he goes to get food for him, this other guy, and me, and I'll pay him back, which I did. I go out the kid and I said, hey, if you're here from exactly 11.30, between 11.30 and 11.45, I can let you in. So I go over there, he's there, and then he's like, oh, you done with rehearsal? And I'm like, no. Like, rehearsal hasn't even started yet. Like, I was busy setting it up, and the rehearsal's gonna be a four-hour rehearsal. So I open all the doors and there's a closet door but sometimes it's not always used and yeah I guess I should have just opened it but I'm super hungry and I even I just kind of like checked there for a second I was like okay do you need everything you need because sometimes they don't need it and sometimes it's open and he said yep that's good we're good to go I'm like you're good and he's like yeah thank you and I'm like all right so being that he said yeah they're good thank you I left and I walked all the way back over I've got like 10 minutes. Hey, this is gonna mess up the tile floor. Great, give me in a battle. Level 39. These levels, man. I walk back over to my rehearsal and Charlie got me my sandwich. I give him the $6. I eat my sandwich as fast as I can. And now I'm heading up the stage to get my instrument out. And I look at my phone and it says, oh, the mic room is, is locked. We need the microphones. Sorry, mate. I tried, you said you were good. As it is, I wasn't been able to let you in in the first place and I had to shove down my food super fast as it is. And now, oh no, you can't access the mics. Well, this is what happens when you don't let me know in advance what you need. And so then I still had like in the back of my mind a little like guilt feeling like, oh, I feel bad, I couldn't let him in. But like, what am I supposed to do? Like, this is a dress rehearsal, like, as it is, we're going, you go through the songs back to back to back because we're on the stage performing, the dancers are going, we have so many solistic parts when things pop out, dancers are listening for these cues. And the bass player, you know, was like, oh, professor, you know, and he's like, what is it? For this part here? And he's like, not now, this is a dress rehearsal, we gotta keep going. Like, I can't just say, oh, I'll be right back, this guy forgot to tell me he needs this door open, so I gotta let him in, no can't do that. Unless you're sick, dying on the floor, you can't leave the dress rehearsal. That's just how it is. And so as hard as it is for this kid, and I say kid, but he's, he's, he's you know, an undergrad student. So he's like at least in his 20s, you know. As hard and as annoying as this is, this is the hard lesson that you have to learn. So you remember next time to tell me in advance because I, I tried, you know, and yet still wasn't good enough, but what you want me to do? I'm only one person. You know, one could say, oh, well, it's my brother's fault because he wasn't even on campus because he's, you know, picking up hours at a, at a grocery store. But then again, that's not his fault because it, it's a Saturday and the guy didn't tell us anything until the night before when realistically I could have been asleep and never seen it. Then what would have happened, you know, and not responded because my brother was already asleep. <sighs> Why? Dude, I have the worst luck with Lavender Tower with this scenario. Okay, if we can catch this, cool. Wait, can we even catch this? Because usually the Marowak doesn't let us get it. Let's try. I feel like a wing attack might kill. Let's go to Danny. Don't Dragon Rage. Okay. He might hit himself in confusion, so let's just try throwing a ball. Let's use a Pokeball. Test. Oh, come on. All right, see him. Yep, I knew you'd get confused. Okay. Nice, I'll take this. Marowak, the bone Pokemon. Pokemon typical fire, a ghost, a lowland form, Marowak. You know, I've never, I don't think I ever used a little Marowak, but I really love this Pokemon's design. Very cool. Um, what do you call a Marowak? Janet. I don't know. <laughs> Call it Janet. <laughs> it's not a very common female name. I remember one time I was like sitting somewhere uh, outside of a library and all of a sudden this guy came running out and he was going, Janet! <laughs> I was like, that's an interesting name. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. What the hell is going on here? 
None of your business. Chimchar, stand by for battle against Darkrai. Oh, great. Chimchar, wait, don't! Battle this Pokemon, I'm begging you. It's too strong. Take care of your own Pokemon, DJ. I know how to take care of mine. What a disappointment, Chimchar. You are a very pathetic Pokemon. I don't want a Pokemon like that on my team. You shouldn't treat your Pokemon like that. Don't you realize that Darkrai is much stronger than a Chimchar? There's no excuse for not wanting to battle. Chimchar, I don't want you as my Pokemon anymore. So I get the Chimchar, right? Because... Chim -chim -chim Chimchar! You're a very strong, strong Pokemon. Your trainer is weak for not seeing how strong you are. But we just said it was weak. Or did we just say that Darkrai was too strong? But isn't that the same thing? <laughs> Come with me. Together we can become stronger. Don't be afraid. I promise you'll be happy with me. Until you faint and I consider you dead, I put you in the PC to never use you again. <laughs> Alright, well... Well... I don't know what the heck the level this thing is. And I'm just gonna leave it. No, sure. Well, let me stock up on more balls, actually, before I try to take on this thing. Because if a wild Pokemon here are 39, there's a good chance this thing could be, like, 45, even. You know? I'd rather, I'd rather stock up on more resources, come back another day, get a dark ride that I'd never use anyway. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan for that there. But, um, aside from that, um, like I said, the assignment for this research class is a lot easier for this Monday. And I'm not even guaranteed to go yet, but if I do go, it's okay. I got it. I have a, the draft, like, basically done. Which is, well, the draft is done. I just have to revise it so it's not a draft anymore. Um, and then pretty soon I'm going to be on Thanksgiving break. Not much of a break, but I'm going to be using that time to shed my trombone for then boards and then setting my sound recording. And then pretty soon I'll be on winter break and then life should be good. You know, people will might be coming back in 2024. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Get back to some streaming. Um, I made a new layout for something. Uh, it was accidentally revealed on YouTube for like 20 minutes and I was like, wait, is this public? Can people see this? I don't know if anyone did see it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I switched it to private, um, cause I was like, I <laughs> don't want that being seen. Still only great balls. Okay. I'll take 30. And yeah, and then, okay. Um, and grinding legends, I, I still hate PvP seasons when it's not double RP or triple RP. I don't understand why everybody else hates that. I love it. It makes more sense to me. Because the way it is now when you try to grind, it's like if you win a match, you get 30 points. And if you lose a match, you lose 45. How does that make sense? You know, you win two matches, you gain 60. You lose one match, you lose 45. And you, you have like barely any points gained. Where do we go? Do we have to fight the dark guy? Oh my gosh. Well, maybe that should make me feel a little bit better. Don't have permission to pass. That's where we came from. Wow. That's what Iceberg sounds like in dub of One Piece. <sighs> All right, give me one second. We'll be right back. Alrighty. Let's try to take on this Darkrai. Um, I found out, spoilers from Liam, that you can catch this. I, I love that you're playing the game, Liam. And I love that you're watching and you comment and all that stuff. But like I said, this game is brand new to me. So, if the video hasn't come out yet, that I've got to said part, don't put it in Discord, because then you're spoiling it for me. Thank you. That's all I gotta say. Love ya. All right, let's hopefully this thing doesn't body us. Oh, level 30. Okay, cool. Um, set up with double teams. All right, How, why, why, why is this happening? Really? You land a 60 accuracy move in that, okay, he has faint attack, so he's never gonna miss anyway. Well, 
I'm going for a quick attack. Go for another quick attack. Alright, let's catch this thing. Wow, did they really have to make the catch rate of an actual legendary, dude? Stop. Oh my gosh. You're done, dude. Maybe I'm Thunder Wave as well. Okay. Or a Zora Tail. I used to think, like, if I had an intimidating Pokemon on the field, that it would help catch the Pokemon better. Alright, down B, bro. Just down B. Get caught in the ball. Here we go. Down B. It's gonna work this time. Really? Okay. You serious? Didn't like the Pokeball either. Dude, Liam caught you. How come I can't catch you? There's no way. Thank you. Just gonna say. Dark cry, V. Alright, didn't want to read that anyway. What do you call it Dark Cry? All of them have turned their back on me. Um Traitor! <laughs> I don't know what to call this thing. I call you Shadow. Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. You can get like the same color too. Shadow. Shadow. Story activate? No story. Alright, so now I get to take the long way all the way back. Alright, give me a second. Okay, let's see what happens when we leave. Nothing happens when we leave. Does the path get cleared? Nope. But it does this way. Okay, so we get to go to Route 8. Alright, so I guess that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. I believe, let's see, level 30, yeah, 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 36, and level 5. Do I use Chimchar? No, what am I saying? I already have a fire type. Chowser's also a better fire starter than Chimchar. Fun fact, did you know um, out of all the starters, Blaziken's the best? Yeah, that's like what I've been saying since day one. No one wanted to believe me. But now there's actually a little video that proves it because someone did the research, so yeah. Um, I need a Moonstone, man. <sighs> yeah, I'm not using Darkrai. <laughs> Doesn't it have like Doodoo Kaka level up moveset? Did it just say no ability? Are you serious? You couldn't encode bad dreams? You're gonna put fairy typing in the game, but you can't give an ability? Oh my days, man. This game. I was really hoping it wasn't gonna be this bad. <gasps> Bulbasaur. I want the Bulbasaur. Diglett? Okay. We don't have a single water type move. What is this? Alright. Swap into you. There we go. Well. Sure, we'll get rid of takedown. Really? You know what, we'll, we'll, we'll save an encounter for next episode. Anyway, if you cats have enjoyed, let me know that you have enjoyed. Make sure to do something in that like down below. So grab your ears, share with your friends. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to 2024. She'll be good. She'll be really good. Um, I don't know when this episode's going up. I think either end of November or start of December, something like that. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get a battle here and, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.